speechless! <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and this is a uh, a bizarre video, a more um, a more humbling um, topic, but it's one that I, I do feel strongly about. Um, obviously, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm pr pretty, in fact, as far as political views outside of you know not liking this woke nonsense, is I'm pretty live and let live. It used to mean you're a liberal. Nowadays, I don't know what that means. But things, you know, safe, legal, and rare has gone too far. Um, there is a Twitter user or an actress, as she claims, uh, who is getting absolutely demolished uh, after preparing a cake for her friend, celebrating... Um, the removal of a baby from her body. Uh, it's sick. Um, it's, you know, I'm, I'm very, you know, like I said, live and let live. But it's also just, it's not dark humor. You know, she's trying to say, oh, it's just dark humor. It's not. It's weird. It's uh, an insane devaluing of human life. And it's also spread to TikTok. There's an entire subgenre if you really want to lose faith in America's youth um we'll look at a couple of videos from the deletus the fe or yetus the fetus trend which is a, just appalling gross by the way it's always um in my opinion the people that seem to be so pro yetusing the fetus are always probably never have probably won't be pregnant i don't know how else to word this kindly but the the people in these videos are not attractive um, so, uh, this person has since, since blocked me, but thankfully, by the way, all I said was I've been pro-choice for 40 years of my life and I'm rethinking that after seeing this cake. So you see, congratulations, it's aborted and it shows a black woman, uh, throwing a baby into a basketball hoop. Um, it's, uh, sad and you know, people might say, oh, it's just a, it's just a, you know, it's fake or this or that. Wrong. This person thought they were going to get a bunch of clout by making an entire video uh, on it. I got this abortion cake for my friend because we celebrate all milestones over here. If you don't like it, I don't care. What is it a milestone of? Bad decisions? Look, I understand. And my position remains the same. Safe, you know, it, it really does. Safe, legal, and rare. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's not a decision I would take lightly, make lightly. I think it removes all agency um, from a mother's decision-making uh, process and also the father uh, who sometimes, in many cases, doesn't even know that this happened. Um, I think that the the insanity that around surrounding this celebrating this kind of stuff uh really just comes from a lack of personal responsibility look i'm not going to argue this somebody uh you know takes you against your will and then you end up pregnant or it's whatever nobody disagrees very few people disagree with that except for maybe maybe hard hard hardcore religious people um actually doesn't this seth dylan of the babylon b think that anyway um i can't remember i don't want to misattribute that but uh some people do believe that, and you know that's your right to believe that. But I, I think where my position is is like, bro, nobody forced you in, you know, except in those cases, to engage in this activity. Abstinence works, um, and in, in my experience, most people, you know, were, did you use protection? Were you on birth control? Oh well, you know, it was just a thing. But 
Okay, so you chose, you made many choices along the way that led to you being pregnant. And now it's like, ha ha ha. I mean, look at this. I can't play the music. Uh, let's get an abortion cake for my friend. Went to a cake art for edible image printing. Only $9.99. Uh, by the way, I wouldn't even print this. Uh, but that's okay. Um, you know, this business has to make their $9, I guess. Um, so you got it. You know, instructions are for your friend. Uh, here's this person with brightly colored hair. Um, okay. Got a cake from Publix. And by the way, Publix made this. Publix made the cake that says, congratulations, it's aborted. Uh, I thought for a second maybe that she just wrote it on there, but no, Publix did it. Um, that's pretty gross. I, I don't think I would do that if I was an employee, but again, they have to make their money apparently. Um, so then she then puts... You know, throwing the baby in the basketball hoop. Ha, 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 ha. Again, um, this is a whole thing about clout, right? That's, that's the wild part about this. Like, you recorded this video. You did a whole photo shoot for this. For what? Being gross? Like, it's not... I mean, you see, well, Pennywise, I can't refresh this because you'll, you know... Because that'll show that I'm blocked now. But um, is the baby smiling? Because he'd rather be... T I mean, like, I pray that if you ever do recognize the horror of what your dark heart is celebrating, you can forgive yourself. I hope you repent. No one, But no one celebrates abortion. I mean, it's absolutely insanity. And it's so much worse when you look into this, you know, this yetus, the fetus. If you look on TikTok... So, by the way, again, here you have a woman that is in very poor physical condition. Um, you know, there's, there's tons of these. To Yudas the fetus or not to Yudas is not the question the government should dictate, but the individual's choice. Could you define Yudas the fetus for us? Ye so you'd be, you'd be comfortable yeeting a baby? Oh, 100%. A born like, baby? Not like a born baby. Because this person will probably never get pregnant, but anyway. That's like, that'd make me a criminal. But what's the difference? Why would yeeting a child who's been only been out of the vaginal canal for 10 minutes be different than Why aborting a child? Why do you care? Yeah, once you know evil is happening, I think it's pretty evil if you don't stand up to defeat it. And we know abortion is a discriminatory act of violence where the privileged person gets to say whether or not the weaker, younger person gets to survive. And we think that's, that is discrimination, it's violence, and it's wrong. And once you understand that, you're called to speak up for, for those who can't speak for themselves. It's a very fundamental principle. It's one of the best things about our country. Now, this is a, this is a, uh, a pro-life. You look at the comments, but no one glorifies this act. Um, so, you know, thankfully, this nasty woman will probably never experience a privilege. Of I mean, if you look up this trend on, t on TikTok, um, this is why I don't use this app. You know, it's just so sad. Um, the people on it are, are so very sad. Um, and it, it's, it's wild to me that this is a, a trend. You know, like if... if uh, to you the fetus. Or hold not on a second. You see a lot of these. Let me pull up the trend, actually. I mean, if you look at, you know, their, their entire, you know, the whole, there's so, thousands of videos about this on TikTok. It's very sad. It has, you know, 30 million views on this trend. Um, when they want to take away your rights, but you're already in the clinic. Um, it's, it's. And by the way, they say yeetus the fetus because it, it's not, it sounds, it, it softens exactly what they're doing. By the way, if you look at what communities disproportionately um, are affected by this and the excuses that people make for them, it's really sad. Uh, oh, they don't have birth control, bologna sausage. There's birth control everywhere. And again, you can always abstain. No one's forcing you, you know, again, in 
nine, you know, 99.9% .9 of the cases, nobody's forcing you to engage in unprotected acts. Okay. It is not a, a, uh, a thing that happens in the United States. There's birth control everywhere. There's plan B there's, you know, there's, um, you know, abstinence. I know it's crazy, but you see like, here's a Reddit called child free where they're like, ha ha ha. Heave ho the embryo, zap the zygote, you know, fetus deletus, praise yetus, aborty ho the embryo. Um, I, it's gross. And again, like it's, there's some level of humor in it, but when you dig in and you know exactly why they're making the jokes that they are, the fact that they're trying to destigmatize it and make it seem like it's a, this funny, hilarious thing. Um, it's just not very funny. And uh, of course, I'll refresh this, and you'll see, uh, you know, about you know, obviously this person. Oh, now they've gone protected, and um, let's see, actress, artist, general creative, went to college, and now your tweets are protected. I wonder why. Uh, just gross, 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 gross. Hope you enjoyed this video, though. If you did, make sure you have a like on it, and we'll talk to you again real soon.